Andrew McGahan reporting from Las Vegas, Nevada on this day where historic news has been passed. It's eight ounce gloves for McGregor versus Mayweather on August 26th and I'm standing alongside the man, the counsel of the um, the meeting today I suppose for Team McGregor, Mike Marsh. Mike, first of all lovely to meet you. Um, this is an absolutely historic day I suppose for the sport. I mean, this, the, the entire fight is a historic day for the sport. Uh, the, the quality of these athletes, the, the, the size of this fight. I've been in and around boxing in Las Vegas for almost 20 years. I've never felt and experienced anything this big. So it's very exciting. Well, this is um, my first ever. Uh, Nevada State Athletic Commission hearing now. I have seen on Twitter before, I have heard the times that it can go on getting up at 8.30 this morning. I was a little worried we were going to be here for a few hours, but 59 minutes in total from start to finish for such a, a scale, for such a magnet of decision. That seemed like pretty quick. Well, yes. I, so in, in my past, I have had the pleasure of being the attorney for the Nevada State Athletic Commission and have been around them, you know, again, for almost 20 years. So, yes, th different meetings last different lengths of time, but credit to uh, Chairman Marnell for, for uh, you know, keeping the meeting moving along at a, at a good pace. And we spoke to Bob Bennett, and he said that one of the, it said it's not uncommon for the commissions to inspect gloves before, but not to, not to play devil's advocate here, but let's say the gloves are sent for inspection two or three days before the fight and they have a problem with them, what would the official ruling be then? Because it's confirmed pending the three, um, three conditions that Marnell had set out. Sure. So what could happen, fight week, fight week, if something doesn't go through? Well, look, I, just, I've been around this for a long, long time, and I, I can tell you this, I'm not very concerned that anything will go wrong. First of all, you're going to have gloves from quality, reputable manufacturers. Second of all, they're going to be, they're going to be inspected by each of the camps to make sure that both of the camps aren't, don't see or perceive anything inequitable. And most importantly, you're going to have the Nevada Athletic Commission, an impartial arbiter. They're going to get the gloves. They're going to keep the gloves. They're, the gloves will be in their possession so that nothing can be done to adulterate them from the time that they inspect them until the time of the fight. So again, from, from, a, from a, a health and safety standpoint, I think there is uh, virtually no chance of any, any concerns with respect to the gloves because of the, the role of the, of the commission. They seemed fairly happy about this going from the second that it was announced, but primarily put it down to the fact that the referee that they're choosing, um, Robert Byrd, is, in their opinion, the best guy for this possible. Do you think it was essential to have the best officials there in place to ease their maybe health and safety concerns as well? Yeah, well, of course it is. I mean, having quality officials in any fight, whether it's MMA or boxing, is, is crucial to, to, the, to the safety of the people in the cage. Um, Robert Bird has been around the sport for decades. He's he's well respected. He's done many many world title fights. Uh, the slate of the referees, or, or slate of the judges, was also a, a very high quality, high caliber uh, slate of officials. We we are excited for to have all of them uh, working this fight. So we're not concerned about them. Very good. And and two quick things before we go. Skip Avancino. I've heard a lot about this man, but seeing him perform today, it seems like he holds the room very, very well. He holds court very, very well. But it seemed that just having the knowledge of someone who was there in 2006, when this was originally brought up, and be able to reference that, that, that loophole of the study that was talked about before, and we'll do it from here on, that seemed to be the real turning point today. Yeah, so Commissioner Avancino, I have a, a personal affinity for again because I used to be his attorney, had the pleasure of being his attorney for a long time. He's a former multiple-time chairman of this commission, uh, has the longest-serving commissioner in Nevada history on the Nevada Athletic Commission. I believe he's been here since 2003, and he is a, a wealth of information. A, 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 he's been a, a stalwart for health and safety of the fighters his entire te uh, tenure on the commission. Uh, so it didn't surprise me at all to hear him taking the lead on ensuring that those concerns were addressed in approving this special waiver. So. Excellent. And then I, we finished off with Bob, so we finished this with you. Financially, it seems like this fight is going to break all records set in Las Vegas history, whether it's pay-per-view, gate, uh, merchandise. But it seems that it's trending already to be one of the biggest pay-per-views in history. Do you see it going that way as well? I absolutely do. Uh, again, having had the pleasure of being around big boxing and big UFC events here in, in, in Nevada, um, it has that very, very, it has a, the very special feel that those top level events have and then there's even a special amount of extra emphasis to this. I do believe it will break every record that's ever uh, occurred in the state of Nevada. Perfect, Mike. Thank you very much. Thank See you, you soon.